हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मिस्टर अवेश अहमद हुसैनी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर शरद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग यड्राव मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ब्रीफ आइडिया अबाउट द सिलेबस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनामिक्स वन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स इज डिजाइंड फॉर थर्ड ईयर बी टेक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सेम वन so before uh, starting to giving the brief idea about that syllabus structure first i will give the information about the prerequisite subject the prerequisite subject required to studying that applied thermodynamics one subject is basic thermodynamic or some kind of the physics and chemistry concepts so it will help you to clear your basic concept regarding that particular theory so total unit included in that applied thermodynamics 1 is total 6 out of them the unit number 1 is deal with fuels and combustion so we know that in ic engine combustion is most important phenomena with the help of that combustion process the vehicle is propelled and with the, and a lot of the heat energy is produced and it is utilized to thrust that particular vehicle but after combustion process whatever the exhaust is there it include n number of the parameters so here in this particular unit we deal with types of the fuels calorific value of the fuels and its determination combustion equation for hydrocarbon fuel determination of the minimum air required for combustion and excess air supplied conversion of the volumetric analysis to mass analysis and last one is a fuel gas analyzer generally the fuel gas analyzer is used to determine the contaminant in the combustion it include co nox co2 sox particulates it extra so we can find it, their values and contaminant rate with the help of that fuel gas analyzer the second unit deal with steam generators as we know that the steam power plant is works on rankine cycle so the heart of that rankine cycle or that steam power plant is a steam boiler that steam boiler is nothing but that steam generator so in this unit we it it includes classification of the boilers boiler details requirements of the good boiler its advantages and disadvantages of fire tube and water tube boilers boiler mountings and accessories generally there are two types of the boilers fire tube boiler and water tube boiler in fire tube boiler the fire is continuously inside and it gets surrounded by water but in case in case of the water tube boiler water is circulated through the tubes and it gets surrounded by fire so this is the main difference between that fire tube and water tube boiler so for ease of the operation and for safety purpose we generally use the mountings and accessories the mountings are the essential devices it include safety valves fittings different water level indicators etc and that accessory will improve the performance of the steam generator it includes economizer superheater air preheater etc also the half portion of that unit number 2 is categorized into two part the boiler draught and performance the boiler draught it include classification of draught natural draught efficiency of the chimney draught losses types of the boiler draught draught is nothing but the passage through which the combustible gases from the boiler is exhausted to the atmosphere to the chimney So this is the most important parameter for study and the last one is performance of the boilers it include evaporation 
equipment evaporation, boiler efficiency, boiler trial, heat balance sheet and introduction to IBR. The third unit deal with the vapor and gas power cycle. There are two kinds of the vapor power cycle. The first is Carnot cycle and second one is Rankine cycle. Out of them Carnot cycle is a theoretical one which is not used in actual practice but the ideal cycle is the Rankine cycle. Every steam power plant and sugar factories are works on that Rankine cycle. It includes reheat and regeneration process. The next cycle is the Stirling cycle, Joule Breton cycle. Generally that Joule Breton cycle is come under that gas power cycle. Then its calculation of the thermal efficiency, SSC specific steam consumption, work ratio and their cycle representation on PV and TS plots. The most important part in the steam power plant is nozzle. The main function of the nozzle is to convert that pressure energy into kinetic energy. So with the help of nozzle it is very easy to produce high velocity jet of the steam and the same that high velocity jet of the steam is bombarded on the passage of the blades then it gets start rotating. So it include type of the nozzle there are so many types like convergent, divergent and convergent, divergent kind of the nozzle and the process is carried out in that isentropic expansion process then the flow of the steam through the nozzle condition for maximum discharge expansion of the steam consider considering friction super saturated flow it is nothing but that metastable centric process Gen general relationship between area velocity and pressure so this particular points are included in the unit number four steam nozzle fifth unit is a steam turbine so whatever the high velocity steam from the nozzle is strike on the surface of the blades of the turbine it gets start rotating and at the end the mechanical energy is produced and that particular rotation of the shaft in the form of mechanical energy is given to the generator for further production of the electricity through that EMF laws and principle sometimes that Faraday's laws are included in that when current carrying conductor is kept in a magnetic field it will experience a force and voltage and current is generated so it include advantages and classification of the steam turbine there are generally two types of the turbine is there impulse turbine and reaction turbine so the next part is compounding of the steam turbine then most intense interesting part of that unit number five is velocity triangle then work done equation, efficiency, derivation and losses in the steam turbine. The half portion of that unit number 5 is categorized into again into two parts that condenser and cooling tower. So condenser is a device which is used to convert that steam into water by latent heat of the condensation process and the cooling tower provide cooling water in the passage of the condenser shell in order to phase change then and then only possible to convert that steam into water so condenser and cooling tower is a conjugated term it include elements of the steam condensing plant advantages of using condenser type of the condenser thermodynamic analysis of condenser efficiencies and cooling towers and their types the last unit Unit number 6 is the reciprocating air compressor. We know that that air compressor is generally used in a lot of the application in industrial, commercial as well as in domestic application. So it includes classification, construction detail, theoretical and actual indicator diagram, free air delivered, multi-staging concept. Multi-staging are used to produce the high amount of uh, the pressure. So that's why multi-staging are generally used condition for maximum efficiency capacity control then the half portion is related with the rotary compressor it include concept of the rotary compressor root blower and vent type compressor centrifugal compressor velocity their velocity diagrams expression for work done that is Euler equation then introduction of the slip factor and power input factor so these all points are 
included in that unit number 6 reciprocating air compressor as far as reference books is to be concerned there are total five books are good related with that applied thermodynamics one the first book is related with that thermodynamic subject if you have to clear your basic concept regarding with basic thermodynamic then you have to prefer that unicentral balls this particular book is available in our uh, library also in huge quantity so you can refer that unicentral balls and second i recommend you to use that rk rajput book it is uh, it is available in the huge amount in our library so you can take a benefit of that rk rajput book in order to clear your basic concept regarding with that applied thermodynamic apart from that the rk rajput book is a uh, pk nag book is also good it is related with the basic and applied thermodynamics pk nag again same uh, author but uh, the book name is different the power plant engineering it is also good book related with that uh, working of the steam power plant and the next is that uh, mathur sharma it is very nice book related with that internal combustion engine so mostly that uh, uh, that book number 4 is used in the unit number 1 you keep it mind for combustion process the book num uh, that uh, point number 4 is most important that mathur sharma book is very good to study that internal combustion engine and combustion process again uh, in the same semester there is one lab for applied thermodynamics it include again total 10 experiment the first experiment is related with the determination of the calorific value by bomb calorimeter so the bomb calorimeter is a device it is mainly used to determine the calorific value of the fuel like petrol it may be petrol it may be diesel the second experiment is related with the measurement of the dryness fraction of the steam using separating and throttling calorimeter all experimental setup are available in our applied thermodynamics lab so we can take a benefit of the all experiments so measurement of the dryness fraction of the steam using separating and throttling calorimeter in this particular experiment we can find the dryness fraction of the steam generally the steam is having its uh, is kind of the moisture content if some moisture content is remains it will become a uh, impact on their performance so we have to find out their dryness fraction before utilizing in the steam turbine so the third experiment is related with the trial on the boiler in that we can calculate its performance through the efficiency then the next important is the convergent and divergent nozzle the convergent and divergent nozzle is available with us we can calculate the velocities we can calculate their pressure heat drop and we can add then we will get the its performance so the next is steam turbine the steam turbine is not available but we can study that steam turbine we can demonstrate during the industrial visit the sixth experimental setup is uh, related with that performance of the evolution of the surface condenser surface condenser is available with us in this experiment we can calculate the if uh, condenser efficiency as well as vacuum efficiency the seventh experiment is related with the flue gas analyzer with the help of that particular flue gas analyzer we can find the emission uh, content in the ic engine then the x experiment is related with the study and trial on single stage or a uh, two stage reciprocating air compressor in this experiment we can calculate uh, its uh, performance with the help of calculation of the volumetric efficiency and isothermal efficiency the ninth experiment is related with the trial on centrifugal blower in this experiment we can calculate the overall efficiency of the centrifugal blower by calculating input and output power and tenth and very interesting <laughs> Uh, experiment according to the student point of view is industrial visit due in a steam power plant and sugar factory so this is uh, syllabus structure of applied thermodynamics one subject and applied thermodynamics lab thank you thank you very much